still nothing on Gladys, and Francis, friend of mine, had an idea about Poseidon's hand grenade to store it in a bowl so that I could still see it, but the cat can't knock it over, so... <laughs> I have it set up there, and I figure might as well do this. As you can sit here and watch. If I had remembered to bring the little tripod, I could give you a better angle than this, but I'm working with what we've got. And I will start with these. carbon, three hydrogens. Four nitrogens. I need two oxygens. So, oxygen, nitrogen. one of these for a carbon double bond in the connecting the two rings, essentially. It's the mm, shared section. And one, two, three more carbons besides. Oh, these white flexible pieces are for making double bonds so that they will actually connect. Because these oxygens are double bonded to carbons.
So the first part of the rings. So, the first, the right hand, looking at it the way I do, part of the ring is pentagonal. And this other ring that shares that double bonded carbon is hexagonal. So while the pentagonal one sits relatively flat, there's a little bit of, um, it refers back to chair and boat configurations when you get into the hexagons, but not everybody will remember or want to remember that part of uh, <laughs> organic chemistry. What it refers to is the hexagon can't lay flat because of the nature of the angles of the bonds. It has a um, the chair. Well, it's harder to flex because of this double bond here. But there's usually a one end sitting up and the other pointing down is referred to as chair in both ends pointing up is referred to as boat, and I, I'm not sure about the actual uh, way this one arranges itself, so it's not perfect representation, but these don't make for perfect representation anyway. I, they weren't these sets weren't actually required for my um, organic chemistry. They were, uh, the college bookstore has them if you want them, and instead of writing out, like, we had to uh, draw out chair and boat configurations, so I actually just built one and showed him the two different positions instead. So... I did get use of them in class, but they were more for fun. Um, you're going to want to point away from those further, so... second ring is more complicated on top of being larger in that it has more groups sprouting off of it but and like I said I'm not sure which way these should be facing um, so I try and do it so that they're as far away from the other groups as they can be, because if I remember it right, that's the way they should sit. So, this is a decent representation of a caffeine molecule.
now I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. 